Right, so this morning I came across a situation on TikTok which is currently ongoing right now. There really isn't a full-on conclusion yet, but the more and more I looked into it, it just got worse and worse. And I realised that description could sum up more situations over on TikTok, but this one has had a lot of media backlash and has actually resulted in a principal at a high school in America having to come out and release a statement apologising for what he did. Now we will get to that statement later on in the video, but let's start from the beginning, and it's from a TikTok account called The Spammy Zero, which is ran by a girl called Kaylee Timonette. And this video has now gone viral, like I said, it's got a lot of media coverage, and it is basically Kaylee talking about her experience at this school, and more specifically, a weird that she has been punished for something that really shouldn't be that much of a big deal. At an after party that was not school sanctioned, nothing to do with school, um, was put on by me. I've always had the after parties. Um, there's a video of me that was sent into my principal from taken off of a DJ's promotional um, website. Basically, my friend was dancing in front of me and I was like doing like this, hyping her up, you know, just being a normal 17 year old. And then I was called into the principal's office. Um, basically stripped of all my achievements. I was no longer allowed to be part of student government, anything like that. Right, so as you just heard, Kaylee is being punished because of a video that was found at a private party. And she's going to get into the way she's kind of been punished for this. It isn't just what she said so far. It gets a lot worse. And the video is actually online now. It's been on a bunch of, like, news stations and whatnot. And I'm not going to show it just because it, it's a 17-year-old at, like, a private party, a video that really shouldn't have been out there in the first place. But it is just a video of her dancing, you know, something that most people did when they were in school. They would go to, like, house parties and dance. Dance, right? And there were tons of other kids in the video because it's a house party, a lot of people attending and a lot of people are dancing, but for some reason, Kaylee got punished a lot for this. So I was basically told that I need to change my morals and values because I was not living in God's ideals. Um, I had Bible verses printed out, given to me that I needed to read apparently. Um, I was questioned about if my friends lived through Jesus, everything like that. Yeah, so again, this is another part that a lot of people had a problem with because as she just said, she goes to a public school. She doesn't go to like a Catholic school or anything. And the principal basically saw the situation and decided to take it as a chance to talk about religion with Kaylee. And as she's about to say, he ends up like printing off like Bible verses. In another video, I think they spoke about how he give her like some religious bracelet or whatnot. And yeah, like I mentioned, a lot of people have a problem with this and the opinion that I've seen going around on social media a lot is that people believe that this principal is kind of using this situation to almost punish Kaylee for not having the same beliefs as him. And it is also worth noting that Kaylee's mother wasn't allowed to be at this meeting either. It was just the principal, I believe the vice principal as well, talking to Kaylee. This community is amazing. Like, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Whenever I left that office that day in tears and shambles because I had a scholarship taken away, my application taken away for a scholarship that was for the Senate. Yeah, that is the part that is absolutely mental to me. Because she was at a party or she had a own party at a house, the same that like loads of students in the world do, right? But because the principal found out about this and saw like a two second video of her dancing in a normal way that students do, he took a scholarship away. Like, why are you going to affect someone's future so much? Someone who, by the way, actually has done really well in school. Like, Kaylee has reportedly got like a four point oh i don't know how the american system works i can't lie a four point oh something is it gpa is, is that what you call it but i looked into it and it's good that's what i've worked out okay she has really good grades and she's doing really well in school and they took away her scholarship because they saw this video that was on like a dj's like promotional video in my opinion it is a massive 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 overreaction like clearly right i felt like i could never go to school again that again that sounds so dramatic but i was mortified and he kept asking me if I wanted to see the video. I kept saying, no, thank you, no, thank you. Um, showed me anyways, and all I could do was cry. I never wanted to show my face at that school again because I felt like I let down the entire community. So, and I was by myself against two adults, so I'm not gonna stand up for myself. Like, imagine making a student feel that way almost kind of like ganging up on her in a sense, right? Like I said, her mother wasn't able to be at this meeting. And like she's saying here, she didn't want to show her face at school again. She felt like she'd let everyone down when she didn't. She did what most students do in their lives and go to a house party. But as Kaylee just mentioned, a lot of the students are in support of Kaylee and she's 
not joking this is actually one of like the high school football games i believe and everyone is dressed up in kind of pink shirts with kaylee's name on signs and whatnot and she's got a lot of support a sea of pink took over the walker high football game friday night against dutchtown in support of kaylee timonette yeah so as you can imagine when all this stuff is going on there's a lot of support for kaylee it's not looking good for the school it gets a lot of media coverage the school's getting a lot of backlash and the backlash ends up getting worse when people did a bit more digging in fact a video that is allegedly off the vice principal started making the rounds on social media where she is dancing to an inappropriate song i guess if you want to call it that there's some inappropriate words in it but the difference here is it's not a private party where it has nothing to do with the school it's actually on school grounds <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the first line that we hear in that clip is, uh, put dick in your life if you're lonely, which seems a lot more inappropriate, don't you think? Especially on school grounds, and yeah, it is just a song, but if we're bearing in mind the reason why Kaylee was punished for dancing at a private party, this video seems a lot worse to me. And the school at this point kind of went in defense mode, and they were trying to do a bit of damage control, and allegedly, some of, like, the school coaches for, like, the sports team were messaging the students, basically saying to not support Kaylee publicly. This is allegedly a message from one of the school coaches for, like, one of the sports teams that says, do not repost or join any groups regarding the Timonet girl. You have signed a social media contract, and we are not going to post things that could be controversial and negative towards our school. If you've already posted it, please take it down. If you have an issue of this, please see me tomorrow thanks you can support her for sure but not that way you can support her for sure but you can't post anything on social media about it how does that make sense now the mother of kaylee has actually done a few interviews with unfiltered with uh Kiran, Kiran, I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But they've covered the story very well and they've done a bunch of interviews with the family. And in this interview, the mother of Kaylee actually talks about how she was present at the party. And if she thought she saw something inappropriate, she would have stopped it, but she didn't. So um, the party was at the Livingston Parish Country Club. It's about 15 minutes from here. It's a venue, um, a private venue. Um, everybody who was invited put up money and to pay for the venue, pay for the DJ. We've done this every year pretty much since my son has been in middle school. I saw her with my own eyes doing specifically what was in the video. I mean, she's been a dancer since before she's two years old. I mean, that is what I had the venue for was for kids to come dance and have fun. So as far as how people dance or what somebody determines as inappropriate dancing, I mean, to me, they were just having fun. There was nothing inappropriate at all to me. And yeah, the video that is going around off the party, the one that the principal saw, there doesn't seem to be anything inappropriate. I think there's a girl who was kind of like twerking in front of her, but it's not Kaylee actually doing that. And Kaylee's kind of like dancing behind her. But it was at an organized party that is done every year, apparently, according to Kaylee's mother, where a bunch of the other parents for other students put a bit of money in to help organize it. Like, I, I really don't see the issue here. And especially, again, when you bear in mind that there's literally a video of the vice principal dancing to some inappropriate song on the school grounds. Like doesn't make sense does it and look if they really had a problem with that video going around does anyone in their right mind really think that it's worth taking away their scholarship making sure that they can't be student of the year anymore she even had a title removed for sga president at the school like these things just seem so over the top for what actually happened like way over the top but like i mentioned there's been a lot of backlash over this situation which actually resulted in the president of the school having to make a statement and apologizing i believe it is necessary to respond to the public attention that has resulted from my actions regarding kaylee timonet's participation in a dance party that was sponsored at an on off site location following WHS homecoming. I have had time to consider my actions, have had conversations with the Timonets and meet with district staff. First, let me say that I've apologized to the Timonets. I am hopeful that my scheduled meeting with Kaylee's mum will rectify the situation and allow Kaylee to enjoy the remainder of her senior year at Walker High School. Now, Kaylee and her mother have responded to this statement, which we will get into, but they've basically said that this whole scheduled meeting thing is kind of just a load of shit and isn't true. But the principal carries on with the statement and says, I will be reinstating Kaylee's position on the Student Government Association. The SGA was created to give students a voice in their school and their community, to promote leadership qualities and to represent their school with pride, enthusiasm and respect. Respect. Our student government members are held to a high standard of student behaviour. While I stand by that premise, I do believe that standard deserves the input of not just myself and top administrators, but also those student leaders. I hope to create a path moving forward when we can work together to create clear expectations for all. Yeah, it does kind of sound like damage control, kind of waffling on about like student standards and all this stuff. Kind of the 
normal shit you would have to make in a statement like this. He does say he's going to be reinstating Kaylee's position on the Student Government Association, which is good, right? But then we get to the whole scholarship thing here, where he says he's going to be reinstating it. But Kaylee's family believe that this isn't actually possible anymore because the deadline is done. I'll be reinstating my scholarship endorsement for Kaylee. At Walker High, we strive to place our students first in every decision so they can be prepared for whatever career path they may aspire to take. And I believe my action will assist in doing that. Finally, during the conversation with Kaylee regarding the dance party, the subject of religious beliefs was brought by Kaylee and myself. So he tries saying here that the topic of religion was brought up by both them. Kaylee just says that this straight up isn't true and she kind of says like why would it be true? Why would I bring that up when I'm not religious? While that conversation was meant with the best intentions, I do understand that it's not my responsibility to determine what students or others religious beliefs may be. That should be the responsibility of the individual. As principal of Walker High School, I am faced daily with many difficult decisions for the interest of our students and employees that are never taken lightly. Please know that I always strive to place our students first in every decision. I mean, it doesn't really seem like that, but oh, I mean, what do I know? It is for that reason that I have taken this corrective action. As we move forward, I ask for your continued support of Walker High School, our amazing teachers and outstanding students. Thank you. Jason St. Pierre, principal at Walker High School. Now this obviously begs the question, would this statement exist if it didn't have the media coverage that it did? Would it exist if hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people, like over on TikTok specifically, have now seen the situation and don't agree with it? Would there have been a correction if this just stayed as a situation that was only known by the students in that specific school? We obviously don't know because it is a hypothetical, but I mean... It's hard to believe, right? But after this statement was made, Kaylee and her mother have responded on video, kind of giving their thoughts on it. Mr. St. Pierre had called us from Walker High School, him and Kelly Becknell, and they had asked me and Kaylee if we could come into the office and he could give us an apology. And um, at first I was maybe considering, but after thinking it was a bad idea. Um, so then basically he had said that he was looking to reinstate Kaylee on SGA and he was also looking to reinstate her scholarship, which I had explained to them that the scholarship deadline was at on October 3rd so there was no chance of reinstating it. Yeah, so apparently the day where the principal decided to take away Kaylee's chance at a scholarship was actually the deadline day. So what they're trying to say here is, yeah, they can say, oh, we'll try and reinstate it now, but it doesn't seem like it can likely happen. I think the only way that it can happen is if they go to people like much higher up. Uh, obviously, I don't know exactly how it works in America, but from what I've heard from this video and like Kaylee's family's response, the principal can't really do much at this point. And if that's the case and they genuinely can't do anything about the scholarship now, that is disgusting beyond belief, right? They have taken away Kaylee's chance at a scholarship, now decided that they were wrong and that they would reinstate it if they could. But if they can't, they've just ruined Kaylee's like future plans. This was obviously something that she was wanting to do. So you've affected a student's future because they were seen on a video at a party, which again, pretty much every student does at one point. And also, um, he also stated that he had a scheduled meeting with me, which we don't have a scheduled meeting. And this was all posted into our Walker High app for all of our students to see and anyone that's joined our app. So these accusations that aren't even true. He also stated that um, basically the conversation about religion had come up between him and Kaylee. Um, the religious conversation definitely was started by him and Becknell. He had printed the Bible verses and he had actually even sent Kaylee home with a religious bracelet. No. Also, I would have not brought up the religious belief issue within it because it just doesn't make any logical sense why I bring God into the picture of something that I didn't even believe was a mistake. So yeah, that's a statement from the family. This video was uploaded 11 hours ago. I believe the principal statement was only made yesterday as well. Right, so just a quick update on this situation. And I realized the setup of this is a bit weird. My cable for my camera that connects my computers kind of messed up and I need to get a new one. It doesn't come till tomorrow. So I have to do it with my phone. So I'm sorry if the quality is a bit bad, but we do have an update on the situation, which is very important. So I thought I would just leave this at the end of the video. So after I record the video you've just watched, I came across a new article talking about the principal at this school. And it turns out he's actually resigned. Hours after a lengthy apology was posted online and sent to the parents and students, Walker High School principal Jason St. Pierre has stepped down. Multiple sources confirmed to unfiltered with Chiron. St. Pierre reportedly called faculty and staff into an emergency meeting Monday morning, where he informed them he was stepping down and retiring. A move 
Smooth sources say called some central office staff by surprise. It's unknown who may replace him. Now, one thing that is kind of unknown from this article is if it was actually the principal's choice to resign or if he kind of was left with no choice and they just want to kind of let him go out on a brighter note and say he resigned rather than he was let go. And the reason why I question that is because many, many reports being made to the school board, obviously all the media attention and whatnot. So it could definitely be something that the school decided would be best to get rid of this negative media coverage and the, like I said, they're just letting him say he resigned rather than kind of he was forced to leave. Just thankful for the community and happy that no child will ever have to be in this situation again. Kaylee Timonette's mother, Rachel, told UWK following the resignation. And the article actually carries on saying that the incident has sparked an investigation by Livingston Parish Schools and has been a topic for many of the school board members. Livingston Parish School Board member Kelly Hennessy Dickerson does not serve the Walker High area, but she said she has fielded a ton of calls on the situation. She said when she first heard about what happened, she couldn't believe it because Timonette is an excellent student. We've got a lot of students who do cause trouble in our school system, Dickerson said. We've got problems with bullying, we've got problems with vaping and drugs and kids with disciplinary actions. This is an amazing young lady. She was not on school time and was dancing. I'm not condoning the style of dance, but this is ridiculous. This is harsh and unfair. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. It was completely unfair and it was a massive, massive, massive overreaction and that doesn't do it justice. Dickerson admitted she's had conversation with board members Jeffrey Cox and Caitlin Lockhart Cockerham, who served the Walker District. She's also reached out to the administration. I have been inundated with calls from parents to teachers and principals from other parishes, Dickerson recalled. They said, come on Livingston Parish, y'all are better than this. I've given my two cents to the Walker board members. School board members and not all the principals or employees. I think this needs to be overturned. It's a terrible ruling. I think it set a terrible precedent. She said St. Pierre has done an amazing job at Walker High, but this was a bad decision. Yeah, I think saying it's a bad decision is a bit of an understatement when it could have a big effect on the student's future. A bad decision would be giving her like too many detentions as like a punishment, right? That wouldn't really have too much of an effect on her future. It would just be a harsh punishment for what it was, but the fact that he decided to go as far to take away her scholarship opportunities. Like, I mean, that's worse than a bad decision. Like I said, that could have a massive effect in her future. And the article carries on with a few more quotes from Dickerson, basically saying that this was a horrible decision in terms of what the principal actually did and the punishment was way too far and she doesn't agree with it at all. But yeah, ultimately the principal has resigned. And like I said, it's unclear as to why he resigned, if he really decided to just do this on his own accord or if it was what was best for school and he was almost forced into it. Not literally forced into it where he wouldn't have a choice, but if the media coverage is so negative, like and they have these discussions he might have felt like he was forced into it and didn't have a choice otherwise the school was going to have this negative press for even longer but yeah i would love to know your thoughts on this and why you think he's resigned and what you think's actually happened to you in the comment section down below and uh yeah i'll go back to past callum to do the outro i reckon so if you did enjoy please do a like down below subscribe if you are new and until the next one i'll see you guys in a bit all right goodbye